accurate. This is a Fluke Model 772 milliamp process clamp meter. It measures low amounts of milliamps suitable for 4 to 20 milliamp circuits. You have to know how to use it though. There's some important tips to be aware of. So when we first start this up, you can see here, I'm measuring about 0 0.01 milliamps, or point, or sorry, 0 0.08, or about 0.1. This is uh, clearly not measuring any current at all, so you're probably wondering, okay, why is it doing that? Well, this is a magnetic probe. So any stray magnetic field or residual magnetism in the core will be picked up by the Hall effect sensor in here and cause it to be off. So what we have is a zero button. You can uh, push the zero button here to re-zero that so it reads zero. Also be aware, if you open up the jaws, it's going to pick up any stray magnetic field it happens to see and interpret that as a current. I close the jaws, that completes and isolates the magnetic circuit and it effectively uh, shields it from most of the magnetic field around, but not all. Watch this. Here we have a Fisher Model 546 Ida P with a very powerful permanent magnet. That permanent magnet is going to mess with this probe. Watch, I will not clamp it around any wire. Watch the display on the meter as I move the probe closer to that magnet. 0.81 milliamps, 2.24, 2.6, 2.83. That very strong magnetic field is completely messing with this probe. It's giving me a, a radical error, about two and a half milliamps worth of error. That's a very substantial error to be dealing with. And notice as I turn the probe, the error changes. The orientation of the probe makes a big difference in how it interprets that magnetic field. So you could try to put the probe in this position and zero it out using the zero button, but I would say this is just about hopeless. The magnetic field is so strong, and even slight positional changes in the probe have large effects in the current. So here's an application I would not trust this instrument to measure current in. Uh, so how do we measure current? Well, we do it the old-fashioned way using leads, but not with the clamp. So before you use a meter like this, it might be a good idea to do a quick sweep or survey and look for magnetic fields with the clamp and make sure you're not about to walk into a, a condition that's going to cause gross errors.